Hey, what is going on guys? It's Gino here and welcome to part two of our tutorial. Thank you so much for watching this far into the tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to tackle on the filter function so we can filter the table view based on our text in the search bar. And we're going to add dynamic data to our table view so we, don't have, so we don't have to hard code anything. And without further ado, let's get right into it. So we're going to create an array. Let um all cities and now we're just gonna s list no, uh, random random cities let's say berlin new york oops london let's say shanghai oh los angeles and last we're gonna say chicago okay and instead of saying return one we have we just could say return all cities dot count like so and it is actually returning the count of all cities which is six this is much better that way and to set our text like the text that we have here we have to access every single index of our array and we can do that by saying all cities with an index of index path or row right and when we run it let's see how it turns out it should show every single city and it is showing every single city right like so and if we type in whatever it's still not filtering it according to our um, our, cons our our settings that we put in so to do that we have to set the delegate of our search bar to self again like the table view and this is why I did the lazy var instead of a let because it needed it to be loaded when it is needed and here I can extend it again to make it all more clear and cons and better structured I'm gonna say hey we want a search bar delegate here and there is a function that we need which is called text the change like so and let's try printing the text the search text which is going to be the text that we type in so when we look at the console it's gonna print out every single text that we type in the search bar at the top. I'm gonna say hey hey and as we can see it is printing out every single character. Okay that's great. Now we can actually start filtering it. So now we can use the filter function and we can say hey all cities is going to be the same it's going to be uh, a value all cities dot filter right and here we can do whatever we want we can say hey um one moment dot lowercase or whatever which one was it again I forgot um, right okay this is a let constant and that is why we are not seeing any change to our code and now we can say hey we want our text to be lowercase and if that lowercase contains the search text dot lowercase because we don't want to check for all the character match and stuff like that so that is very tedious so we just put everything lowercase so everything's going to be the same okay now when we run it actually I forgot one thing we have to reload our table view or else it, the changes won't be shown so we're gonna gonna say 
tip view dot real data like that and now our changes are going to be presented in our table view all right let's see now, can, now we are kind of typing in Berlin aha uh -huh, it is working now let's try London okay so it is empty so what is happening here so what we're doing is we are setting the all cities to the filtered data that we are typing in but at the end it is deleting all the other options that are in all cities because we are overriding all cities so what I'm saying is we need a second array which is going to be var filtered cities and we are going to set all the filtered cities into the filtered cities array <clears throat> and not override all cities and to do that we just have to call filtered cities right and we need I'm sorry st string like that we instantiate it and we need to have a variable called is searching to check if to track if we're actually searching if it is searching then show the filtered, filtered city and if we are not searching show the whole list right so the first thing is we are going to use a ternary operator and it looks like this is searching right and then we have a question mark which indicates that is a ternary operator now if the is searching is true this side is true and this side is false so if it is is searching is true then return whatever you are having in this block and if it is false you return, return whatever is here so if it is true if we are searching then return filtered cities don't count and if, if we are not searching then return all cities dot count and we're gonna do the same with our text here if we are searching then return filtered cities index path dot row and we're, if we're not return all cities dot index path dot row right and now <coughs> we have to do the same here so if we're gonna check if we're searching and if we are searching then we are setting filtered city to be uh, whatever we, we, we define here and we're gonna reload the table view data and if we are not then just reload the table view data like so okay now let's see if it runs uh, let's see if our logic is working as expected let's see okay I'll type in Berlin all right okay we've got a little problem here um right because we are searching um, we would have to say is searching is equals true and if we're not searching um, okay we've got a little error here I'm not gonna edit it out because I do errors I do errors myself so if search text is empty then is searching equals false and now we just want to reload our table view data else if it is not empty then is searching equals true and we're gonna say filtered cities equals all cities dot filter I should have copied it but it's alright dot lowercase dot contains 
search text dot lowercase and I want to reload the data as well oh is that because I forgot to mention this dollar sign zero represents the current element that we are mapping with the filter because we neglected the uh, parameter we can set dollar sign zero um, which is a faster way to do it but you don't necessarily have to do it like this you can also use the parameter okay now we are setting this is searching and to true or false and now it should work alright we're gonna we got Berlin we delete everything it is still here now we can type New York it's still here York done hi whatever Shanghai and it is working hey guys I hope you really liked my tutorial if you have any questions or comments please write them in the comment section below or shoot me an email that I'm linking in the description below and as always keep coding and see you in the next one bye bye